Wow, would you look at the way the stars look through the roof here? That's really beautiful. They kind of remind me of the echoes that you can see over in the ancient ruins, too. I wonder if there's something to that. Ah, well, hello everyone and welcome back to Slime Rancher! And the moon is setting on the beautiful glass desert here, where we have just collected up quite a few tangle plorts. And we have gathered up these beautiful, beautiful plorts, which are actually quite useful in fertilizer, if I recall our lessons from the Slimepedia. Now I have to check, because I thought about the Slimepedia, and I love the Slimepedia so much that I have to look it up now. Favorite food is Painted Hen, Slimology, although they may look innocent with their wild wide smile and colorful flower atop their head, it is actually a fearsome predator with a big appetite for tasty meat. The tangle slime earned its name from the twisting vines that, can, that it can produce to grab things in the environment. It is unknown what caused the tangle slime to become such a fearsome predator in the barren waste of the glass desert. However, if the land, if the land once resembled the lush greenery of the oasis within, perhaps the tangle slime evolved in a much different environment than what you see today. And they're kind of risky. Also, they cause their pollen can cause boom slime explosions to be even worse. They can make many of the slimes allergic to them, which is kind of adorable. And they're plortonomics. Despite the troublesome nature of the slimes that create them, uh, tangle plorts, I almost called them trouble plorts, that's funny, have incredibly beneficial agricultural applications. Fertilizers and growth formulas made from tangle plorts are used by farmers all across Earth to greatly enhance crop production. It's speculated that the unusually high nutrient count found within tangle plorts that now grow Earth's vegetables result from the tangle slime's incredible appetite for chickens. But that's super gruesome, so let's just ignore it. All right, so we are here using these uh, agriculturally appropriate tangle plorts in order to fill up some of the, there we go, the statues that are sprinkled around us. So you guys are ready for this. I love that little slime sound that it makes. We should be able to find three of those statues and put the plorts in and that will open up the little temple with its water. And then we can take the water and we can transform this barren waste. Aha, there's another one of the statues into a beautiful oasis and we'll be one step closer to permanently transforming the glass desert into a place that we will be very proud, oh so proud, to return to and admire day after day, especially once we find that mysterious glass or the mysterious diamond. I want my hands on that strange diamond. Uh, it's going to be a while before we find another strange diamond, I think. But once we have that, we can build the warp pad to be able to get in here much quicker. All right, where the heck is the last statue? Gonna have to think this one through carefully. We're gonna look around. Of course, it would be like the trickiest. And is it gonna be back here? Just watch us stumble on like a treasure trove of all sorts of unexpected uh, treasure pods while we're searching for this. It's probably right out in the open. That one was kind of hidden. Is it up there? I think that's it. Is that it on the other side? Maybe. All right, we're going to have to get back up on top of the temple and I'll walk around the temple and double check. And we do want to try to get this done before the day starts heating up and we have some of those solar anomalies that could cause a bit of trouble one day in the future. We definitely want to be here when there is a solar anomaly so that we can manage to snag the adorable fire slime. But uh, there we go. But today is not that day. <laughs> today is the day when we are focusing on getting the tangle plorts put into the tangle statues, transforming this area, <laughs> climb my way up, there we go. And then maybe taking our tangle slimes and our mosaic slimes back to our home. Oh boy, here's the last one, guys, are you ready? <gasps> da! There we go, all right, and let's jump around the side. And then we can come on in. Grab the water. There it is! All right, we've done it again! Ancient water on it! Okay, okay, go, 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 go! Uh, can I shoot it from here? Dun, 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 dun! <gasps> we did it! What does it look like from the top? Wow! Look at that! How beautiful! Look at all those mosaics that just showed up. Well, I'll have to go collect those guys. Oh, dear! In a little bit. Man, we picked the perfect time to do this, too, because look at what time it is! It's the solar, the solar issue time. Okay, come on. Let's get this guy down here. And there's another safe spot for us. How far does it stretch up? 
really high up, yeah? Yeah, you're gonna protect me too. Oh, drat, all right. And it looks like I need to now, let's try grabbing a little more ancient water. Cause I know, oh, wah, okay. <laughs> we'll try avoiding that too. But I need to grab a little bit more ancient water and let's see if we can get one of the protective oasis is built on this side. Let's go guys, let's go. I know there's more. Okay, is that one of the spots? No, that's a treasure pod. Okay, I know that there's another spot down here. I was just looking at it and I was going, I wonder how, oh, there it is. I wonder, there, okay. And we can land in here on this tree. Ouch! A whole bunch of slimes just like popped out on top of me too. That's funny. Look at all the dervish, holy moly. Oh, wow. We did it! We did it! We transformed the area! I don't think there's any more of those kinds of, um... I don't think there's any more of those plants on this side, actually. I think we have transformed all of it now, you guys! Holy moly! Holy moly! I'm, I'm so excited! Also, I'm kind of curious what happens if you combine a tangle and a dervish plort. Hey, you wanna eat this? Who's gonna eat it? Ah, uh, the big old, the big old normal slime ate it, but he looks kind of cool. I kind of want to call them daisies. I don't know, maybe daisies? What, what kind of slime should we name this Largo? You're kind of cool looking. Okay, let's see what happens. What happens? <gasps> so cool! These are the ones I named the dandelions, not the ones that were the phosphors. I remember that now. Oh my goodness. There we go, tangle plorts all around. Of course I knew what those looked like. I just forgot for a second. What if I feed you? Oh, he's so cute. Are you like a little cactus? I kind of want to name it like cactus. We're gonna have to think that one through because this one's really cool too. Yeah, we're gonna have fun guys playing with all of the different uh, tangle largos that we can make because I definitely am into that. Oh, look at him go. Did he just go through the cliff side? Okay, he just went through the cliff. We're gonna have to just accept that that happened. And then I do wanna use the slime key that we worked so hard to be able to get. Let's go this way. To open up the uh, actual, uh, and I might wanna take back some of these painted hens now that I think about it. But I do wanna use the slime key that we worked so hard to get with that boom slime to open up some of the slime doors that are over here. And one of the doors that I wanna open is actually this one. Oh, oh, oh my. All right, hang on, I'm gonna leave the tangle port here. Totally forgot we might wanna grow some prickle pears. Oh, and we need to get our hands on some of the parsnips before we go home too. <gasps> There's so much we could do. Okay, we're gonna come this way and we're going to use our oh so precious slime key on this door so that we can get through to the big beautiful temple that is on the other side here in the glass desert. So this is my one precious slime key. <laughs> many, many hen hens sacrificed their life for this moment. So I really hope it is worth it. And there we go. Oh my gosh, the key had a smiley face on it. Dun, 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 dun. And here we are. Oh my gosh. I totally forgot that I had this fallen temple over here too. And that I need to be able to bring over some of the ancient water. Let's go get some of the ancient water from this direction. I think I can make it last long enough to get over here. So let me jump over here and then f swim down here, fly even. It kind of feels like swimming though because I'm headed towards ancient water. You get what I was going for, right? All right, and then we're gonna come this way and very quickly get up to the top. Already have run out of energy. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it. Only 15 seconds left, go! 10 seconds left, 12. Okay, probably enough, probably enough, I hope. Oh, we did it! <gasps> I did it! Yes, all right! We did it again, you guys! And now we have another one of these little oasis spots. And another tangle slime, don't mind if I do. Very nice, oh, this is fantastic. All right, well that makes me very happy. And now we can get over to this section so much easier. Oh, they're playing Sims. We can get over to this section so, so, so much easier. I think there's like a danger zone over here and then it will open up to the big uh, ancient ruins again. Yeah, there's the danger zone. And then there's like a whole bunch of spots where you can just kind of wander the glass desert. And you have to run past all these angry guys, being angry. Let's see, fly up here. Yes. 
There we go. We've done it, you guys. We have fully looped around the glass desert. I don't think we need to take a bazillion and a half tangle slimes home, especially because we'll be able to mostly experiment with their different ports in the wild. But I'm glad that we had the little supply we do. Oh, look at those guys. I really wonder what we should call the ones who are pink slime, tangle slime, largos. I really cannot wait to see what your guys' special names are gonna be for all of them. Oh gosh. Oh my. You're almost getting eaten? And then it's like someone's changing their mind about you for now. Oh, never mind. <laughs> All right, well, that's the end of that particular painted hen, unfortunately. All right, oh, and there we go. I'm gonna leave behind the carrots. Well, it feels kind of silly to leave behind the carrots, but I mean, hey, hey, I need that. I need that. All right, I'm gonna toss them over here then. I need that, that parsnip. So I just have all these carrots because we didn't end up needing to pop the gorgos, the gordos after all. So let's see. Ah, he ate it! <laughs> all that work getting ready so that I could grab that parsnip and he ate it. All right, and look at this, guys! Wow! Wow! What do you call it when you've got these guys? I mean, look at him. What do you call it when you have a mosaic slime and a pink slime? And then what do you call it when you've got the mosaic slime and the the dervish slime? Yeah, I really wanna see what your guys' creative names are for these because they're pretty fun. This guy kinda of reminds me of um, like those gummy candies for some reason. All right, hold still for a second. Where are the, on earth are you going in such eagerness? Like, this guy cannot get... Oh, he wants to play in the water. Okay, that's kind of adorable. I just wanted to get a good look at him. Are you guys running away from me? Hey, now. I just want to get a good look at you. Huh. And then you can see... Oh, I guess I could just stick him over here if I want a really good look at him. <laughs> All right, we've got a dervish there. And we've got... Why didn't I think about this? If I want to get a really good look at what they look like, I can just put them right here. <laughs> they can't budge. Oh, that's hilarious. All right. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. I think we've got everything that I came for other than I'll grab this mosaic slime. Uh, should I leave behind the prickly pear? Okay. I'm going to grab these mosaic slimes because their uh, plorts are worth a lot of money. So we probably want to take several of them with us, especially because they're going to populate the cave from now on with her royal majesty queen quartz queen rose quartz uh, taking good care of them and we probably need to investigate for more hey look at this man that's the coolest yeah these tars think they're getting somewhere i think not we probably need to investigate the area a little bit more thoroughly for some treasure pods which reminds me somebody told me that there was a treasure pod that we want to check out that should be up at this temple over here next to the statue that i actually tossed the let's see so up there man that's a beautiful temple by the way there should be a treasure pod that I missed. Thank you guys so much for letting me know. I don't mind you guys trying to tell me where the treasure pods we still need to open are because I am so bad at finding them even with help. <laughs> but it's totally fine. I apologize that it doesn't go well every time, but I try. All right, so apparently way, way, way up top there, there might be a like level three treasure pod and they're giving us really important things right now. So let's try to fly our way up. And then we'll be able to return home with so many riches. Those are quantum slimes of all things. All right, let's see. And I think like up there is definitely supposed to be a treasure pod. So everyone keeps saying, Siri, try to get up there. So let's see if they're telling the truth or not. Or if I, I just am not very good with the parkour, the parkour skills. There we go. All right, up we go. Come on, come on. In the name of treasure. All right, up again. Wow, look at that guys. <laughs> well, it's worth it for the view, if nothing else. <gasps> there it is! Oh my goodness! Okay, we're definitely going to try to get that. Thank you so much, guys, for letting me know. Uh, one step after another. Let's try to get up here. Can I please... Oh, come on. All right, balance on the edge very carefully. I think I have to go on that side and then climb up in instead of going directly just a little higher. All right, and there's the mosaic Gordo in the distance. Wouldn't it be fun to name him? I really like the idea of naming the Gordo, the Dervish Gordo. Okay, and let's see, can I please just get a little higher? Do I need to bounce off something maybe? To be able to get up here? Oh, almost, <gasps> there, oh, I got so excited I threw a parsnip. Oh my gosh, 
A Mark III treasure pod! Wow, the thundering glass sculpture. A beautiful glass-like sculpture that resembles a lightning strike. That's fantastic. Now if I could only get my paws on uh, a few more of the Mark III's, wherever they might be. Uh-oh. Uh, I wonder if over there is going to have something. Can I make it? All right, we're going to try flying our way this way. I know what the back end of the mosaic slime looks like already. Okay, here we go. And we're going to try to avoid the fiery death while I look around for more loot and treasure because that's what we're really here for, right? Um, it's really hard to see. Maybe we're... Okay, saying maybe we're up high enough to avoid the solar anomaly is kind of a dumb thing because, you know, the sun is going to be up here. But we can fly this way and at least sit up here for a second and continue to look around. I wonder how far I can go up. Look at all those pieces. Oh, I wonder if I could bring back a fire slime from over here. Ah, oh, come on. Is there gonna be something up this way? Oh wow, it was over really quick. Okay, that's not as dangerous too. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Oh my gosh, you can outrun it! If you go up high enough, you can just sit up here instead. Well, we're not going to question why that is. I'm sure there's some sort of quantum science scientific reason. Woo! And we're just going to walk across the top very, very carefully. Looking for any more of the level 3 treasure pods that might be... Oh! My gosh! I was kind of joking about looking for the treasure pods and expecting to find any. But, oh my gosh! Uh, treasure pod. Level 3 treasure pod way up here. Oh my goodness! Let's open this puppy up. What could be inside? Please tell me it's the really great drill. Super Hydro Turret, an advanced defensive cannon that doubles the firepower against Tar. Well, we're definitely installing that where King Honeymint happens to reside, but darn. Man, that was really exciting because I really was, it was just kind of like jumping around here for fun. And it turns out it was very profitable, guys. We managed to find uh, another one of the um, another one of the Mark Threes. Not bad. Let's see. And this is going to lead us over. Oh man! If I had known I could do that, I wouldn't have had to teleport ourselves back because this is leading us back around to where the Tangle Slime Gordo is. So we have a few silver parsnips now. We have some mosaic slimes. We have some Tangle Slimes, and we have a lot of Hen Hens. I could free the Hen Hens. <laughs> They can live happily in this oasis for as long as the slimes allow them. Um, and I think I will, because if I want to take anything else back, what would it be? Maybe some of the new plants? Maybe. Oh, and watch the tars get destroyed because they're in a safe zone. Boom! That is so cool. So maybe I would take some of the new plants home. And we definitely want to experiment with all of the new Gordo, and, or all of the new Largo combinations we could have. Hmm... I should probably leave my hen hens here. But the other thing is the hen hens will make good food for the tangle slimes. All right, we're gonna head home. We're gonna grab a, oh. But I want painted hen hens. All right, normal hen hens. <laughs> you guys can live here. I totally forgot there were painted hen hens. I wish you all luck. Oh dear, oh dear, oh my. Where'd my painted hen hen go? It just like vanished. It, it was he like peer pressure uh, or she was like, oh, nobody else has colored feathers and she just like dropped her colored feathers. I just released all of those hints on the, the assumption that I would find some more painted hen hens waiting for me. And apparently that's not the case. Whoops. All right. Well, let's see if I can find some painted hen hens because I totally forgot about them and I definitely want to take some back with me. I think it's hilarious how the dervish catch themselves and get stuck on the little cactus. That's actually really fun. And I do want to make some of those little cactus and we will decorate around the ranch with them because they seem pretty nifty. If nothing else, for holding some of the Largos still long enough to get a picture of, as silly as that sounds. No! Where's my... Oh! Oh my gosh! The mosaic slimes plort is one of the most beautiful things I've seen. Holy moly. Uh, don't mind if I collect up a couple of these at all. Oh, there's a mosaic slime. There we go. I hear somebody. Oh! A fire started. Oh! 
guitars. Okay, that wasn't what I was expecting. Where's my, where are my, where, oh, where are my hen hens? I got into this agreement hoping for some painted hen hens. I want to take some painted hen hens back home. We don't have a warp yet. I will have to haul bunny hunkers all the way back here. So I am taking some painted hens back with me. We are turning this bus around and we are, oh, we are taking out the, the wild tar. Just sitting over the top of my head like this. Whoa, buddy. Don't mind if I uh, get rid of you. All right, we're going to get rid of these guys. And I mean, come on, where's my, oh my gosh. Yeah, outside of the uh, oasis, we need to be a little bit careful. This area is getting a bit dangerous. All right, all the hen hens are gone. We're not gonna question what happened to them. And I need to find a painted hen hen. All right, where's the little, there's like a little spot where they have a protected right over here. Ah, that doesn't bode well if it's totally empty, does it? All right, let's see. Well, my painted hens have all been eaten. And I don't know how I feel about that. A little bit sad and conflicted to say the least. Uh, and I don't know, now that there's so many Tangle Slimes, I think Painted Hens have just become one of the rarest things that we can find. <laughs> I need to wait by a Painted Hen nest. Oh my gosh, there's a fire. I think those are the Mosaic Slimes little sparkly bits actually do start fires. I'm gonna have to remember that too. All right, well, I guess we'll have to come back for the Painted Hen Hens. Even though I really want to take one home and start like my own little coop full of them. But we will return with quite a bit of treasure. Silver parsnips, mosaic slimes, tangle slimes, uh, quite a few wrestled moments with the tars. Any hen hens over here? Nope. All right. And we've had some fun making some unexpected largos that we need to name. I cannot wait. Oh, I heard a hen hen. I heard it, and then, it, and then it's very rapid demise. Oh my goodness. Oh, I hear one. Oh, it's a stony hen. All right, we'll just have to keep our eyes out for a painted hen. We'll come on a, a bird watching tour in the future to the desert and search for those painted hens. Uh, for now, I'm gonna have to accept if I wanna see them regularly, I'm probably gonna need to have a special coop for them. And it's probably gonna need to be a vast distance. Oh, is this a painted hen baby? Hey, out of the pink dervish largo, just a normal chikadoo. What determines what a normal chikadoo grows into? I think the chikadoos are specialty types. So if it's a normal chikadoo, it's gonna be a normal hen. All right, well, enough of my rambling and enough of my wandering. We can collect up a little bit of this treasure. There's another chikadoo. There's a whole bunch of the mosaics. We'll grab them really quickly. And yeah, all right, we're good guys. All right, well, I'm going to claw my way back home. It's gonna be a long, long walk. And next time we meet, I will be back on the ranch and we will get these tangle slimes and these mosaic slimes settled in and we will start experimenting with the different types of beautiful Largos that we can create. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.